Who did you start the interview with? First was the five uh, members of the group. And then, of course, like they were telling their friends, oh, you know, it's so nice. Tatiana, remember the little girl that, you know, was around us for so many years now? She's doing a documentary about us. So first they got really emotional about that. I think especially because of our relationship. They felt like, oh, who could imagine that that little girl that was on backstage all the time around us would, you know, 30, 30 years later, would be interested in making a documentary about us. So first was the emotional side. And then they start calling each other, and then, you know, like Miguel Falabella knew, oh, you know, we, they're doing a documentary about the Zico Cats, I love Wagner Ribeiro, I need to be there, I need to talk, and then Belia Pera, and then Calja Raya, and then Pedro Cardoso, and then, you know, one was leading to the other, the Freneticas, they're on the group, they, are, they were so excited about it, they were like, oh, we need to fix that, you know, that was so unfair that it got forgotten. And I think they felt that, you know, everyone that is in the film, you can feel the passion that they have about the group. And that they need to, you know, validate the importance and to tell that story. So that was pretty crazy, you know, really, literally. We would receive phone calls on the set. We were like filming four interviews and we would receive phone calls of one saying about the other, oh, no, you need to call that person, you need to call that person. And that was, you know, um, end up in 45 interviews. Who was the hardest person to find to interview? Hmm, I think hard in the sense of being willing, none, because all of them really wanted to talk about it. Was hard in terms of agenda, you know, in terms of schedule, because sometimes, you know, then Miguel Falabella, for instance, we had like 15 minutes to do his interview during his play. He was doing a, directing a play in Rio. Then we had, during the intermission, we had 15 minutes to interview him. You know, so that was kind of crazy, running and setting every, everything and, and, and having only those 15 minutes to do so. Gilberto Gil was the same thing. Uh, he really felt it was important. He accepted in the minute. And, uh, but he was in New York. He was a minister at the time. So he was, like, for a conference in New York City. And he had also, like, 25 minutes to do so. So we went to his hotel, and we could not get permission to do the interview in the lobby. So we end up in a Starbucks cafe. So we found like a, a background that would look nice and we put him there and the, with the cameras and the mics and everything. So it's kind of crazy because we had 20 minutes in a Starbucks, plenty of tourists, you know, and the cappuccino machine make every minute of the interview. So afterwards for us to correct the sound was a nightmare because we had to clean all the cappuccino machines and people talking around. So, you know, those kind of things were, were tough. But in terms of accepting or being willing and, and passionate about the Zico cast, that was always easy and people were coming to us. We just opened the door and people would come to us. And Liza was also, Liza Minnelli was also um, an example of that. At the minute we called her, she accepted immediately. She was so passionate about the group and especially about Lenny Dale. And then she got really emotional and she said, I, I need to be there, I need to talk, it's so important. And also, again, her agenda was crazy. She was doing a, a, a tour in Europe, and then she would be away for two, three months, and then we had to wait, and then she came back, and then she was doing a show on Broadway, so she was rehearsing every day. So there was a point after almost a year of that, you know, I want to do it, but my agenda is crazy, that we end up, in, in, in a day we said, we cannot wait any longer. But then she called and she said, you know what, I never did that in my life before, I'm going to open my doors, I'm going to open my house for you guys, come to my apartment. Um, we never received the press before, I usually go to locations, but it's so important, I know you guys are in a budget, I know you're not a big studio or anything like that, and it's so important for me to, you know, tell the world how amazing the Zipro Cats were to me and how important they were to me, so I'm going to open my apartment, come down, and, and I'm going to talk to you guys. So that, and she gave such a beautiful interview. So 